Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So last week I did this like random ass vlog and I started talking about the fact that recently I've been really trying to adopt a set of millionaire habits. I'm at the stage of my business now where the million dollar mark really is on the horizon which is super super exciting but the thing that I feel is holding me back the most is myself you know in terms of self-sabotage in terms of not taking care of myself and so I am currently on the pursuit of you know, I don't want to say self-worth, but it kind of is self-worth because I heard this quote where it was like, your self-worth equals your net worth. And I love my business, obviously, but one thing I have neglected over the past couple of years is self-care and my own health. And if I'm going to make it to the million dollar mark, then that's one thing that I do need to focus on. So I wanted to turn it into like a vlog series where basically what I was doing was bringing you guys along with me. Look, you know, it may be the next sort of 12 months where it takes me to get to the million dollar mark in my business. But ultimately, at the end of the day, in order to set myself up for that success, I need to be developing myself now. So I thought I would bring you guys along and re-vlog, restart vlogging again weekly so that I could just show you guys not only the behind the scenes of my business like I used to do, but also how I'm really making the climb to reach my own personal goals. And a lot of that does have to do with my habits. So I was thinking like calling the series like millionaire habits, but I know that's kind of like click baby. So I don't know if we'll just like say it in the video. Anyway, we'll figure it out afterwards. But ultimately at the end of the day, I, it's now Monday morning. So what I'm going to do now is I woke up and journaled. I was a little distracted this morning when I was journaling though, because normally I do it when George isn't home and he was home this morning and he's like so loud when he gets ready. So basically what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to go walk to a cafe because a big part of my millionaire habits is me moving more and also getting out more and being around people more and connecting more. So rather than just sit here on my desk, which is kind of messy at the moment, I'm going to go walk. It's about 30 minutes. I'm going to take Harvey with me. And we're going to go to a cafe and I'm going to work solidly until my call at 12.30 when I'll come home and have that today. So um, what I'm going to do later is like come back and actually talk a little bit more. I think I did in the last vlog. I can't really remember. I haven't edited it yet. But I think I spoke a little bit about the habits that I am adopting. I'm going to talk about those a little bit more today, um, a little bit later. But, you know, this clip's getting long. So let's get some like B-roll going or something. Actually, before we B-roll, I thought we could do like a quick what's in my bag because I'm really excited. I've been looking for a backpack for so freaking long, one that's semi-stylish but actually fits the 15-inch and isn't like super duper manly. So I ended up finding this one from The Daily Edited at David Jones on the weekend when I was shopping with my mom. I am going to get it monogrammed probably there or maybe there with like EMH. But because I want to walk more, I wanted to get something that I could actually take my laptop that wasn't like a handbag, like, like I mentioned in my last What's In My Bag video. But anyway, so I'm taking today, I'm going to take my journal because I'm going to do some scripting, like some future scripting, manifesting scripting with um, my magic journal. I got this one from An Organized Life, I believe, which I actually ended up just buying one of these for each of my 12-month mentorship clients. Hopefully this video is out before... I mean, hopefully they receive it before this video comes out, but anyway. Um, I've got my wallet, obviously. I've got my sunnies. This is like such a freaking over-the-top case, but anyway. And I've got my laptop. So running pretty minimalistic today. That's all I'm going to take because it's such a long walk that I don't want to stock my bag too much. But yeah, hashtag what's in my backpack. So I ended up having to leave the cafe because Harvey started crying heaps. I don't know if he was cold, but as soon as we left, he like did a massive shit. So maybe he needed to poo. I don't know. But anyway, we've left now and I'm just on my way back home. I actually got quite a bit done. Like I got everything done that I wanted to get done. So now I'm just going to go home and I've got calls for the rest of the day. So I'm just going to like prepare myself and chill, like get energetically ready for them. 
So it's now the next day from when I was filming last and I've just finished a masterclass for one of the programs that I'm running, the Killer Video Academy. Lately I've been running a lot of sort of more group coaching style programs and I actually have a new one coming up in the next month or so called Vision and Tribe. I'm super, super excited about this because this is one of those things that is really, really gonna help people who are struggling to connect with an audience, struggling to build their audience because maybe they're not coming from the most authentic place they can possibly come from. And it's really gonna help people to find clarity and find their vision and find their message and to be able to consistently create content from this place of heart, soul, and passion, as well as create content that truly does resonate with their audience. I'm super excited about that. If you do want more information, there's a link to actually sign up to one of my freebies in the description below. It's called How to Live Your Best Entrepreneurial Life. Definitely, definitely sign up for that or follow me on Instagram. I have something on my lip. Or follow me on Instagram if you want to hear more about that or any of the programs that I am creating. But what's on the agenda for today is I'm literally just about to have a coffee. I love coffee so much, obviously, but I'm literally just about to have a coffee. And then today I'm gonna take it pretty easy. I'm feeling just like having a massive chill week this week, even though I've got so many calls, I've got like 17 calls, but I kind of just feel like just not really doing anything that is kind of, I don't know, techie or writing or anything like that. I'm actually going away next week. I'm going away by myself to just like chill. So I'll be excited to take you along in the next vlog for that. But I am still, I guess, really, really working towards my millionaire habits. So I wanted to show you my to-do list for today. So my, oh my God, look at my nails. Get nails done, that needs to be added to the list. But my millionaire habits really are inspired by me, I guess, connecting more with my own self-worth. And that is really just taking care of myself more, obviously showing up for my audience more, but really, really connecting with myself more and doing things that make me feel fun, make me feel creative, make me feel inspired. So a big part of my millionaire habits is the mindset work. Like I really want to dedicate more to that. I got this YouTube subscriber plug literally through, yes, hard work, but through visualization. And so on the journey to a million dollars in my business, I want to start journaling more and visualizing more. I journal pretty regularly, but I want to start visualization more. So I'm actually going to do that soon. Um, had the mascara already. But another thing inspired by the fact that I totally just want to be French, but inspired by, I guess, the French way of living, I have decided that I want to walk more places. So for example, today I'm getting my hair cut. My hairdresser is probably about 40 minute walk away, but I'm just going to walk there and I'm going to listen to audiobooks. I'm going to take Harvey for a walk and I'm going to listen to audiobooks. I've got a call today. I obviously, I have a French lesson today as well, actually. Um, but yeah, so I, I guess I'm really, really, really trying to A, visualize more. No, sorry. A, manifest more, like be super intentional about manifesting, but also be super intentional about life. And that's why I kind of like the French way of living really resonates with me. But just moving my body more, taking care of myself. I don't know. I'm just so obsessed with this whole quote of like your self-worth equals your net worth. And that's really what my millionaire habits or this whole journey is based around. So taking care of myself more, putting myself first so that I can put others like show up for others even better. So anyway, that's like a really long freaking ramble, but that was my to-do list for today. That's what I'll be doing. Okay, so I am actually waiting for a tram, which is super, super uncommon for me because I never catch public transport. But because one of my habits is actually trying to move more, I thought it's so easy to get an Uber and just get into the city and go where I want to go. But I'm actually going to catch a tram and do a lot of walking today. So I've got my flat shoes on. Um, but yesterday I ended up just going shopping actually because every single sort of 10 or so weeks I do go shopping. Tram by by. <laughs> every sort of 10 or so weeks I do go shopping to get new outfits for my video shoots that I do. And yesterday I went shopping, got some really, really cute outfits. But today I am going to work in the city because why not? And then I've got an event tonight with one of my friends, it's Ruby Lee. You might know she's hosting an event, so I'm going to that tonight. And yeah, that's what I'm really getting up to today. Awesome, it's actually a blow dry bar. Yeah. Forget hustle. Uh, 
Um, but it's gonna be an awesome event. So I'm actually the door bitch for tonight, which is really, really exciting. <laughs> I messaged Erin and I'm like, listen, I've got a job for you and I'm not sure it's like the most exciting and Erin messaged me back, oh my God, I've always wanted to be a door bitch. When I used to go out clubbing, I'd be like, wanna make friends with all the bouncers. And then like, I felt really good when they were like, telling me that I could tell people not to come in. So I'll probably just buy everyone I laughed so much at your response. I'm like, oh my God, I love you so much. <laughs> But I mean, it's been like a crazy hour for me. I went and got a new phone, which I like couldn't upgrade because oh. one phone was running out of battery. But anyway, we're here now and I am ready. Yes. Oh, look at it. <laughs> but anyway, Ruby's going to get her hair done. I'm going to have a glass of water and chill and film her hair done. Yeah, and then also it's button. <laughs> But um, I'll be like filming the whole event tonight as well. So I'm like disgusted. What up? <laughs> Last night's event that Ruby hosted was amazing. I am literally so proud of her. I'm gonna leave all of Ruby's information down below. I know she's been on the channel a couple of times and many of you already follow her, but if you don't and you're wanting to start a side hustle, she literally is the queen of that stuff. And she hosted this amazing event last night, which I was lucky enough to have been the door bitch for. But no, I was there just helping and supporting her and I was able to meet a couple of my members from the Game Changer Collective, which was really awesome as well. But today's one of those days where I just have a lot of different calls. So I've had a couple of client calls already. I'm about to jump on another client call now. Then I've got a podcast interview. Then I've got another client call. So on these days where I am doing a lot of talking, I'm trying not to do any really heavy mindset tasks, I guess you could say in between, because I don't want to be jumping from tasks too much or really trying to concentrate when I'm then just going to have to jump onto a call. So one thing I'm learning to do a lot lately, and I guess this does have to do with habits too, is just really being able to listen to myself and listen to what works best for me. So one thing, getting outside my house and being around people I know really helps with my creativity. And also then trying to kind of batch the days where I'm doing a lot of speaking so I don't have to do any other creative tasks because that's going to help with my energy. And as you may know, one of the habits that I'm using or trying to implement is really taking care of myself. So I did mention the habits that I am going to be implementing. I feel like these vlogs are a bit all over the place. I will get my bearings. Don't you worry. But I did mention all of the habits in my last vlog. And then I mentioned it in the Facebook live that I spoke about as well. So if you guys are wanting to know exactly what my millionaire habits are, definitely, definitely go check them out. And maybe I'll just write them down in the description below. Um, but something else I am going to be doing today. Oh, how gross is that? It's a bone. Um, something else I'm going to be doing today is putting together some gifts. So actually I ended up buying all of my 12 month mentorship clients a book with their name or their initials or a word that represents them. Um, and then I'm going to put those in to a gift pack with a game changer t-shirt. And then I'm going to be posting those off tomorrow. So that's the only real task that I'm going to be doing today. So today has been one of those days that seemingly disappeared like quicksand. It just went so fast. I had so much to do. It was really good, um, but I don't. I wouldn't say that on the habits front it was the best day. So I actually um, did my journaling and everything in the morning, which was amazing, the visualization process. But on the health front, I didn't take the best of care of myself, you could say. Because I was so busy, I ended up sitting down all day. I only got out for probably maybe a 15-minute walk. Um, and then, you know, 
I mean, I guess that's the only habit that I didn't really do today. But ultimately, I feel bad because I was, like, stuck, cooped up inside all day, which is really the habit that I'm trying to break. So tomorrow, actually, both of my, like, appointments got cancelled. I was going to go spend some time with Rachel, uh, but she's got to do some work. So Rachel Ost, um, but she's got to finish off some work. And then I was going to have a podcast interview with Stevie from Stevie Says Social, but then she's got this awesome TV opportunity, so we postponed that. So now I actually pretty much have the whole day to like be creative and get out there so I think I am going to try go work from cafes and things tomorrow and really put together some offers um but it's 8 p.m now I literally just got off my final call which was a call with Sam which was a call with Sam from A Happy Mind who is my sister-in-law many of you know her she's awesome I'll leave her channel linked below as well um but her and I are actually planning and organizing an event in New York at the end of July she's from the UK and I'm obviously from Australia so we were just putting together some of those final details so that we can get it up and out there for you guys who are interested in coming and meeting us and spending the day with us our event's going to be called Be you know Your Unstoppable Self really helping you to step into that like next level version of you um but yeah, ultimately, I'm still going to vlog tomorrow, but I just wanted to check in and say today was a pretty shitty day in terms of habits, just because of how I feel. But tomorrow, I'm like really going to try like vlog the whole entire day and like nail the habits down so that I can really, you know, start moving towards that millionaire lifestyle. <laughs> little while planning content for my youtube channel because one of the habits that i'm really trying to adopt is showing up a little bit more and i know for some people you might be like will you show up all the time and yes i know that's true i mean i do pretty regular lives on my facebook and instagram and then i post videos on youtube but one of the goals that i do have is to really grow my youtube channel this year i'm really wanting to invest more time even at the stage that i'm at i really don't feel that you can grow a youtube channel successfully with just putting out one video a week at you know well, I mean, you could, but I think it's you've got more of a chance if you are putting out more content. So I'm really trying to have a little bit of a plan and a rejig of my channel. So what I'm kind of putting together is this like YouTube Bible thing with just all the information, just video ideas and like all the topics that I cover just to keep myself on track and focused, an upload schedule, like my core mission. I'm just going to put some more information and links here as well. So that's just what I'm working on as Harvey's like ridiculously chewing away and choking himself at this bone. But I really am gonna try to have an early night tonight so that I can get up early. I remember I do have actually a Facebook Live class that I've gotta teach in the morning. So I'm gonna get up early and really try to have just like an amazing day tomorrow. As I said, like film a video, do all of the habits and stuff, just make it a really like perfect day in terms of these millionaire habits. <music> Okay, so I just woke up, like literally just woke up, and I thought I would vlog straight away because I had my camera in my bedroom from last night. So the first thing I do when I wake up is I go make coffee, and then I have my journaling session. So literally, I'm going to get out of bed now, I'm going to go upstairs, I'm going to make coffee, I'm going to journal. How annoying is it when people <laughs> talk when they're yawning? Um, and then I'm going to do like my visualization meditation and then I'm pretty much going to get ready straight away. So those are the morning habits in which I'm trying to adopt, especially the getting ready straight away because it just allows me to set myself up for 
in the day and if I've got my makeup on I'm probably more likely to do story and do lives and things like that and that's a really good tip for anyone who is a creator just get ready at the start of the day honestly you don't have to have like a full face of makeup with lashes just make yourself feel beautiful and sexy and you will show up so much more it's one of the simplest things you can do for your consistency online just facetiming Sam what did you just do Sam just hosted a webinar was it good <laughs> okay, I'm going to have coffee now. <laughs> have fun. this morning probably because I'd already had like a FaceTime call and I'd already looked at my phone a little bit I just find when I do look at my phone or when I do like respond to people or even talk to people before I do my journaling I'm already in that like responsive mindset which actually makes it a lot harder for me to journal so I know moving forward I really have to just like not touch my phone before I journal but that's okay I still did about a page and a half of the three pages that I normally do and I'm not going to let it derail me for the rest of the day because that's what most people do is if they have a routine and then it gets thrown off even slightly in the morning then they're like fuck it basically like the rest of the day is ruined I'll start again tomorrow but I'm not going to let that stop me for today I am literally going to go get ready now, then I'm going to have breakfast, and then I'm going to go do a couple of lives and film a video and just get on with it like I know I should. So now I am dressed and ready for the day. I'm feeling really good. I am just setting up my camera because I'm just about to do a Facebook Live, but after I go live on Facebook, I'm gonna sit down and film a video. One of my habits is that I really wanna start showing up more for you guys. As I said, I already show up quite regularly, but I wanna create more content on YouTube. So that's gonna include a weekly vlog. It's gonna include my normal kind of sit down talking videos, the ones that are filmed a little bit more professionally. And then I'm gonna do these like rant style motivation, kind of like ass kickery style videos. So I'm gonna film one of them to put up this Sunday, I think. Also, I'm gonna leave this video linked below because this video was actually posted on the 28th of January, 2017. And it really is like the video where I officially like launched the business that I have now. And the reason why I wanted to post this was because I think it's really cool that, I mean, do you have to? I think it's really cool that with my channel, obviously I have been creating content for a long time, even well before I had my business. But the cool thing is that I'm now on the pursuit to build a million dollar business and I wanna bring you guys along with me, but you guys can go right back to the very beginning, to the day that I actually launched my business and see how I've grown to now sitting at a multiple six figure business. So. At the end of the day, I just think it's really cool because I really don't know any other channels on YouTube where you can see their entire business growth, you know, years and years and years of them growing their business. I'm sure there are other channels, but I don't know of any specifically in this female entrepreneur online service space kind of space. So anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed following my journey. I'm also going to sit down and do like a full business, my business journey update soon as well. Um, but yeah, I'll leave that video links below and then hopefully, you know, in a year's time when we're like celebrating all the success and all the growth, we can really put together a timeline and just really show you guys what it takes to build a, you know, multiple six figure or million dollar business. 
I'm going to leave this vlog here because I just dumped all the footage in to Final Cut Pro and it's already like 27 minutes long. I mean, I haven't edited it yet, but I will. I realize that that is pretty long. One thing I want to do today, however, is really start thinking about my environment because even though one of my habits that I'm committing to is getting out more, I need my home environment to support me feeling as though I'm stepping into the millionaire version of myself. And I'm so embarrassed to show this, but my house is pretty tidy. It's just that sometimes in the cupboards actually gets a bit messy. Like I've got all these crappy bags up here. You know, I've just recently invested in a few designer bags and they're just not sitting pretty up here. Um, so I'm really gonna start thinking about like cleaning out my cupboards. But I feel like I wanna have a really big clean up and declutter of my life in my home. So I thought that would be a really cool vlog in itself. I'm gonna do that over the weekend. Then next week I'm going to Queensland and I wanna talk a little bit about taking time off and taking care about myself. And then the next vlog I wanna do after that is all about how I'm actually gonna make a million dollars. So talk about the facts, the figures and the steps, right? So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Lots more exciting stuff to come. I really, really hope that you stayed to the end. And if you did, I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.